Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another video for you guys. So we got some interesting information that just dropped from the AT&T Investors Day presentation and they dropped this image along with all these different logos in terms of stuff going to HBO Max, theaters, and the CW, and even video games as well. And we're going to go through this because uh, two potential things are in the works that we've not heard of before in terms of like confirmed official happening. So now apparently it is. This came from Bam Smack Pal over on Twitter who, who wrote... Breaking, a graphic unveiled at AT&T Investors Day presentation seemingly confirms that live-action Batgirl and Zatanna projects are in the works at HBO Max. Now, when I pull up the uh, image here from the presentation, we have Black Adam, Harley Quinn, Superman and Lois, Static Shock, Blue Beetle, Batgirl, Peacemaker, Green Lantern, Aquaman 2, The Flash, Flashpoint Film, Teen Titans Go, The Suicide Squad game that uh, is being worked on uh, by uh, Rocksteady. Bat Wills, I think that's an animated project. The Batman, Satana, Supergirl, Shazam Fury of the Gods, Batwoman, The Suicide Squad, GCPD, DMZ, Gotham Knights, of course, another video game there. Superhero High and League of Super Pets, which is the Super Pets um, animated film they've been working on. I think it was supposed to come out this year. I think it got pushed back. I'm not really sure. So we have this lineup here. Content, that is HBO Max exclusive, the theatrical films, CW and HBO Max projects. Now, the two that are standing out, like I said, from the tweet is Batgirl and Satana. Now, they're saying this is seemingly confirming live action. I don't think this is officially confirming their live action. Because if you look at the lineup here, we have Harley Quinn. That's talking about, of course, the animated Harley Quinn show that was on um, DC Universe before it moved over to HBO Max. We also have Teen Titans Go, another animated uh, show that I'm not a huge fan of, but that's beside the point. We also have the Suicide Squad game and Gotham Knights, which are video games. And the League of Super Pets, from what I'm understanding, is an animated film as well, unless I'm wrong about that. And Batwills is also animated. I'm pretty sure that has to be animated. So Batgirl and Satana, which is something that has not been fully like revealed in coming, those could be animated projects. More likely, it might be live action. I'm not really sure because they could be giving us a Batgirl animated show, and a Satana live action show could be giving us a Satana animated show and a Batgirl live action show. There's many different ways they can go about this. But regardless of if these are seemingly confirming live action or animated, regardless, this lineup is pretty good. It gives you a variety of content. And a lot of this is either on uh, HBO Max already or on CW, which eventually will move over its stuff to HBO Max, whether there's deals going on in terms of a Netflix deal like a lot of the Arrowverse content or not. Uh, of course, these are video games as well. That's a part of the thing. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about this. But if people are responding and talking about this online, saying this is pretty interesting news, especially for Satana. For me, Batgirl, that's the most interesting bit of news for me in terms of um, what's coming. And this is, this is to me, very interesting. <laughs> because we have a lot of DC content to look forward to, um, whether you like this stuff or not. But for me... Um, the static, it's a static shock movie. Okay. So I'm looking at some of the comments here. Um, the green lantern thing, of course, is a lot of people are saying, well, what's the green lantern thing? That's a show. Satana and Batgirl. Uh, what is Batwills? It's a Batmobile show. <laughs> Interesting that Supergirl's there. Maybe they actually are going to go with that solo movie. Well, there's, it's this, it's the TV show. Cause that's the logo from the TV show. Um, so we'll, we'll see in terms of what, what, what this all means. Um, in terms of, uh, what the Batgirl and Satana is going to, end up being whether that's live action or that's animated um but they scrapped the Batgirl idea that was coming from my mods in the chat there because they're talking about the fact that there was a Batgirl movie in development for a little bit um I, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah it was it was in development uh and there was rumors of a Batgirl show going to DC Universe a couple years ago that ended up not happening so we'll have to wait and see um but for me I, I think this is interesting we have a lot of DC content to look forward to whether it's video games TV and all that kind of stuff and it seems just in general AT&T is going all in on DC content for HBO Max. I mean, we have the GCPD uh, show spinning off from the Batman universe that Matt Reeves is making. Of course, Green Lantern show. We have a Peacemaker spinoff from the Suicide Squad film uh, happening on there. Of course, Harley Quinn that moved over from DC Universe to HBO Max. Um, and we just have a lot of content coming to HBO Max that is DC-centric and just non-DC-centric. But for this... I'm, I'm curious to hear more information about Satana and Batgirl. I'm wondering if that if those going to be animated, both live action. One is animated, one's live action, or they flip-flop, whatever. doesn't really matter to me. 
as long as they give me good content. That's what matters to me at the end of the day. Because HBO Max has a good variety of content now. But the fact is, looking at this lineup and stuff that's going to be coming to the service, whether it's a show or a film and it comes to the service later, it's still exciting to see that, the, the, you know, they're going all in with DC content. Because for me, love DC. Give me more DC. I don't care. So what would you guys think of all this information here? Are you excited to uh, check out these uh, potential upcoming shows for Batgirl and Satana? What are your thoughts? Are you hoping for a live action, animated? Whatever thoughts you have, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.